masculine containment is a really popular topic right now in podcasts and in spiritual communities and in those who talk about the play between feminine and masculine energies. Basically, it's the idea of a man creating a safe space for a woman where she can be her full feminine self. This means in some cases he's providing for her physically, like paying her bills, making sure she has food and a house and those sorts of things. Um, it also, more importantly, means holding a safe emotional space for her so that she can fully express herself in her true nature without needing to filter herself, without needing to be strong or hard, um, where she can just really be her full-fledged self and feel validated in her emotions because females are emotional and if we don't have if we don't feel safe around someone we cannot fully be our emotional selves around them so in male containment a woman feels that she can fully be herself because he provides that sense of here is where you are fully accepted because i love you and I want you to relax and I want to see you in your true form. This is beautiful and I think both parties, the masculine and the feminine, are happiest when that is happening. And I think women really should embrace that and be, that should be something that they're looking for. However, women must remember that they have to be able to self-contain first before they go into this type of relationship and they also have to maintain the ability to self-contain throughout the relationship as well this means that yes i am allowing this person to lead me i'm allowing this man to provide this safe space for me i'm allowing i'm allowing him to protect me i'm allowing him to love me and cherish me and lead me etc but I also know that I can do that for myself as well. I also know what is important to me. I know what my values are. I know what my feelings about things are. I know what my boundaries are. And I know how to advocate for myself when I have an unmet need or when I have an emotion that needs to be shared. This is important because if a woman is not able to do this, if she doesn't feel in her soul that she can contain herself this way if she didn't have this man or for whatever if for whatever reason this man stopped providing that safe space if she didn't feel in her soul that she could trust herself to do it for herself then she cannot relax in the man's containment because if for whatever reason his containment gets taken away from her she will not feel like she can survive without it. And because she feels like she cannot survive, she cannot be validated emotionally or validated as a person without it, then she will be continuously, subconsciously, scheming and molding herself into whatever she thinks the man wants and needs out of her as to not lose that containment. This is a really stressful and depressing place for a woman to be in because we weren't meant to be molding ourselves to whatever everybody else wants. We were meant to be appreciated for what we are, the good, the bad, and the ugly, the dark emotions, the light emotions. It's all feminine beauty. And in order for a woman to be able to self-contain, she needs to know that beauty. And she needs to know that all parts of her are valid, that her emotions are valid, that she shouldn't be ashamed of having feelings over things. And she shouldn't especially be ashamed about the dark feelings she has. Because at the end of the day, emotions are not right or wrong. How we handle our emotions can be right or wrong. It can be destructive to handle our emotions in certain ways. But the emotion itself and the need that the emotion stems from is never wrong. It's really how we handle it. And if we feel that we can trust ourselves to advocate for ourselves and love ourselves enough, value ourselves enough to want to see ourselves well, 
then we don't handle our emotions in a destructive way because we trust that we have our own back. And when we're in that space as a female, we can allow a man to come into that space as well and contain that and add resources and add extra energy to that space, to that field, that energy field, so that she can become even more of herself without having to strive in a masculine way or without having to to fight for survival. So in order for a woman to feel that she can trust herself in self-containment, before she gets into the relationship, she needs to know that she has skills and resources to be able to provide physically for herself if for whatever reason the man cannot provide for her. That's one part of it. But the bigger part of it is she needs to be able to really be present with herself and know herself through and through. Know what her emotions are. Know how to determine when her boundaries are being crossed. Know how to sit with herself when she gets that gut feeling that something's not right with this. I don't fully mesh with this somehow and know how to speak up for herself when that happens. She also needs to know what her passions are, what truly lights her fire inside, where her sense of purpose is. Those are the things that create a sense of full self-containment where she can trust herself in all situations, including in the situation of being held by a man's energy safely. If she knows that she can self-contain when necessary, then when a man comes in who wants to love her and provide for her and be that safe space for her, she can relax. She can know that when she speaks up for herself, when she has an emotion, when she has a need, that it is going to be met regardless. There's a trust there. When we don't feel trust in our own self-containment as women, and a man tries to come in and love us, we shut ourselves down. Unfortunately, when women don't feel that sense of being able to contain for themselves, they're not able to regulate their emotions on their own. They're not able to express their emotions when necessary or express them in appropriate ways. And what happens is a loss of connection and a loss of intimacy because either the woman expects the man to read her mind and then gets upset when her needs are not met she might start to feel a buildup of negative emotion that never gets released or never gets resolved because she's not present with her feelings and she doesn't advocate for herself to resolve the feelings. So then she ends up lashing out eventually. Like those emotions don't don't stay down there. They eventually come out if you don't let them out. If you don't work through them and express them appropriately, they will come out as monsters. Those are the things that happen when a woman does not practice proper self-containment. So yeah, go out there, embrace a healthy relationship, embrace being taken care of by somebody, but always have a sense of your own containment. (laughs) 